Hello everybody, it is Sunday night, and welcome back to Let's Stream Fallout 2 Continues, indeed, Mighty Quinn. Hope you're all doing well today, if you're watching this on the V-Streams, and indeed if you're here for the stream itself. Uh, last time we investigated Vault City, and uh, found rather a lot of stuff, and we have two missions, basically, and they both involve this place, Gecko. Uh, so the first mission is to go all the way around it and then come back to Vault City um, for someone who kind of wants to investigate the surrounding area and then the main quest Hello Rube, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you is to go into Gecko because, and destroy it basically because Gecko is where these ghouls are and uh, there is a radioactive sort of power plant or something there that hasn't been shut down properly so the ghouls love it there but the Surface water is coming down into Vault City and poisoning the water. So we've got to sort that out. So let's -a go. We're just going to go right round. So I, I'm going to make this as small a circle as possible. And there may be a lot of um, like saving and reloading here. Because this is basically RNG. <laughs> Almost regretted. How much did you drink? Out of curiosity. Hello Shadowhawk. Good to see you. I'm going to save it as um, wandering, I suppose. Wandering! I'm scouting! Scouting. Um, so I'm going to like go to each sector and save it and then go to the next one. Because that's basically... Ah, uh, we've hit something. Uh, wild dogs. Okay, let's take out the wild dogs. Hopefully we can do this without too much trouble. Don't think you need to do that. Why not? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing, Gillian. That is precisely what I'm doing. I don't see... What do you think I'm doing? I'm not like I'm not. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. I know what you think I'm. Dis I'm th you think that I'm going to stop at every one because you think I need to. But now I'm going to stop at every one and save it so that if I I don't want to go around like seven, then die, and then I have to start again. So I'm only stopping at each one so that I can save it, not because I think I have to. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> No, I am exploring squares. And that's, that, that is the quest though, isn't it? For the dude, um, like the general. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, that's... <clears throat> okay, well, I hope you got my, my expl explanation about why I am doing that. Uh, not yet. Okay, can I get... Because I think I'm hitting... I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. What a stupid, stupid game. Um, yeah, I don't want to hit my friend. I want to hit the enemy behind my friend. Yeah. There was a friendly fire thing for you. Right there. Right, so now I'm going to have to move away pointlessly and hope that it follows me because I can't actually hit it. <clears throat> ah, the joy of all this. Oh yeah, and I said I'd fix that and I didn't. Oh, I fixed the Oblivion thing. Yeah. Dish. Hopefully...
no one will die. And we'll get there in the end. Hello, FK. Is that are the dead? Alright, so hopefully we can just heal up as we travel. Or maybe I'll just heal up now, actually. Save the game of scouting again. And then we just use our put by to rest for. What time is it now? Okay, we'll rest until uh, morning. Heal our hit points and then move on. That's a bit of experience points at least. 300. Where's the edge of the map? Come on down. Alright, so I'm going to pop there. Save it. Scout in. And then... This will be quicker in the in the long run, and then just pop over to here and hopefully get there. Okay, save it there. We're halfway there already. It's going great. What could possibly go wrong? Nice. And then basically we just go back to town. I'm doing this first in case this, um, in case the other quest, which is to go into Gecko, interferes with us somehow. Well, as we've just seen, it does have its limitations. Um, can I go there, please? It's night time, so things might have changed. I have a pass. Day pass, okay. It's going to have to wait then. And yeah, no big deal. Ah, oh, okay. Now you're going to make it a big deal, aren't you, game? Wait here. Search my belongings, it's fine, I don't have anything. Got to remember that, they search you every time, so if I get something, I either have to stash it somewhere, which I don't know if I can actually do, or use it. Feather up, isn't it? One on this. I don't think he's in Central Council. Hi, Paraffin. How are you doing? Joy should be a building around here. I'm remembering it wrong, obviously. Maybe it was was down here. Yeah, it was like here or something. Yeah, it was this one. Pretty sure it was it was you. Um, I surveyed the area around Gecko for you. Good job. Download information to my fit by, and I'll log it into the patrol computer. All right. <clears throat> Intelligence looks good. Well done. Here's your payment. Three hundred dollars. Sweet. Okay, any more work for me? Yeah, actually, I need someone to travel to NCR. Lately, I've been hearing reports that the Republic might be building up military strength. 
True or not, I need someone to plot a route to the NCR and report back. Travel to the NCR, then come back. Well, I need. I'm more interested in the route than the Republic itself, but I need to need you to enter the city once you get there. Okay. Easy enough. For sure where that is, but maybe I'll ask him. Hello, Cell. Is it easy? Okay, I can't. I haven't named Joshua. Yeah, we still have him, but we have to. What is it? What is the status with him? Can't remember. Of course, I'd check my uh, log, but there's absolutely no point whatsoever. Because this is. Utterly pointless, in my opinion. So rescue the husband. That's all he says. That like. So so how do I do that? If I've forgotten, tough. I'm just gonna actually um, save it. Goings, fine. Talk to the same guy again. Yeah, I know. That's what... Um, to remind me, Gosia is release. Oh, it's a donation, isn't it? Two hundred fifty. Um, I have that now. A more sizable donation. So I don't have it yet. Maybe it's five hundred. Okay. You gotta buy him out. Okay, that's all I want to know. Right then. So now we're going into Echo City to have a word and possibly kill them all. I don't, I don't really know. I could, Rube, but I'm not sure how much weight it would have. Character stats matter. Oh, that would make sense, yeah. I kind of like that. That makes that does make sense. As well they should. Yeah, and of course. My charisma isn't very good. <clears throat> I'm a likable enough chap, but not particularly charismatic. Everything else I'm awesome at. But... Chosen. The spirits of our ancestors guide me to a world of dreams that I may touch thoughts. Our village suffers without the holy Gek. Your hands hold our lives as a father holds his children. It could be dreams. Say that again. Oh, hello. I've been to the small st oh, I'm here anyway. Okay, save the game. All right then. Have a word with this chap. Come far to get here? Quite. So we got a nice little um, visions, yep. Vision there. We've obviously met a, uh, reached a, um, a waypoint in the story. So, in Fallout One, I know it was a different character, but the ghoul settlement who this character's ancestor encountered didn't really fare too well. Be nice, I'm always nice. These guys talking to me. 
ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> From airplane. And so what? Sound. Jim Bean. Yeah, he wants uh, he wants his drinks. Hello there. Looks like you're another tragic player. Have you time for a game? Or are you a yeller? I'm a calling you out. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether this is this is saying hello, onion. That I that I'm doing it or not doing it. Your hand reaches for your deck. Simply if it's on violation. No. <laughs> but yeah, how long can one little game take? No time at all. Let's go. Got a new deck, and I want to try. Okay, so this is the card game thing. This is the um, tragic the gathering. So um, okay, let's play. I won. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Uh at least he was um. What I'm thinking of. Gracious in defeat. Yeah. Got a deck of tragic cards. So have I. He's got no money. He's got nothing. I could buy them off him. Maybe. <laughs> Something that's worth trying to get that, you know. Well, that was good. I'm glad I bothered with that. Hello, Lieutenant. How are you doing? Very good of you to drop in once again. You see, an especially short older ghoul. Hello there, my name's Lenny. How can I help you? Um, have you ever heard something called a gek? A gek, essentially. A garden. Of Eden Creation Kit. Heard that Vault City had one of those. That's the only one I ever heard of, though. Well, my ancestor, the Vault Dweller, said that Vault 13 owes us one. I need to find it. Well, I didn't actually meant. Well, I didn't actually meet the Vault Dweller, but I saw him once. You saw the Vault Dweller? Where? I saw M, not him. A long time ago in a place called Necropolis. I. <laughs> ah, yes, there. <clears> hmm. <throat> I have. Uh, I've played Fallout 3. I played um, a blind Let's Play. Both that and Broken Steel. I've also... The first time that I streamed as well, I streamed um, the Fallout 3 DLCs. Hello, Hollow Mirage. My very, very first set of streams um, on Livestream.com I was streaming Fallout 3. One day I saw someone running through Running through the city. Running? Yes, running. You see, we girls can't run so much anymore. So I knew it was an outsider when I saw them. They ran by so close I could have touched them. With that, I had joined with the Vault Dweller. You wanted to join my grandsire? <laughs> yes, I had the chance of a lifetime and I blew it. What do you mean? Later I heard the Vault Dweller had fixed our water system. That's not quite what happened. Um, Vault Dweller saved us. All of us. Do you understand? It didn't matter that we were ghouls for once. It didn't matter. We were people again. Worth saving. That's not quite... Well, she, she did. She did fix it eventually, I think. Only they were all dead. But whether that was to do with my character's actions or not, I'm not not, in, not, in, not entirely sure. But if that's what they remember, then that's fine. So, uh, yeah, that my ancestor was a founder. Maybe this is all just like, um, you know, what Cassie just told everyone that happened. <laughs> she was the only one who saw it because Ian died and there was a dog that couldn't speak. So, um, memories revered amongst my people. Later, I heard the Vault Dweller destroyed the source of the mutant army. The Vault Dweller saved all of us, human and ghoul alike. I could have been a part of that, but I lacked the courage. Never forgiven myself.
I'm um, sure that what you do amongst your goals has value and meaning. Often the right path is not obvious. We all this is goodbye and this is goodbye. I wanna let me ask you something. So I've got to be nice to him to ask him more. So I will. Hello there. I just uh, can't get over how much you look at like the vault dweller. I don't think that's a particularly good thing. Uh, girl, Damon, what can I do for you? Or what? What do you? What do you do here? Well, I help Harold mostly. People get hurt, I help them out. Help Harold do what? Help Harold administer the town. There's always more paperwork to do. Uh, well, um, can you can heal people? Well, before the war, I was a doctor. Before the war, that must have been 160 years ago. That's true, but the radiation um, seems to have given us ghouls longer lifespan. Of course, it took almost everything else away. Yeah, so we're in a water and die. Hello, Django. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, it probably would have died anyway. Yeah, sure they would. Uh, took things away? Well, yes. It looks like friggin' freaks. We don't have any skin, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, that that is true. I see. It looks like you've seen better days. Say that again. Our trade. Um, cheers to be a normal person again. We're gonna trade. Got nothing. Uh, those with Vault City would share their medical technology. I'm sure we could cleanse the excess radiation and heal ourselves. But they won't help you, will they? This is where the plot thickens, everyone. This is where the plot thickens. You bring it to the Vault City, then you tell them what you think. And you tell me what you think the chances of getting help from those bigots is. Might as well watch a paper dog chase an asbestos cat through hell. Um... Let me ask you about something. I think you're right. Let me ask you about something. Alright, I think that's everything, actually. Thank you, Lenny. That's interesting. <laughs> Hello there, smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Well, hello. Um. So why'd you call me a smooth skin if it isn't obvious? You cut with the dull edge of the knife, don't you? <laughs> You don't look like an orange peel left in the sun all day. Your skin's still soft and pretty. Okay, you got me there. Let me ask uh, let me my question a little more worthwhile. What you need, youngster? What do you do here? <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. This is going apart, you say? Well, sort of. Atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. Hmm. No, my teeth are way worse than this. So what do you mean? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, <laughs> uh, I mean they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig waller. <laughs> oh, the burning one. How's it going? Uh, that sounds bad. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <laughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for. Good thing you're here to help them. Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. What is one of them? <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Thingy, and what does it do? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that's true. Anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. <laughs> also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> so I think there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, 
probably one of the easier ones is to just blow up the reactor or whatever or stop it working and, and in some way alter it so that it damns these people these ghouls um, or we could try and fix it for them um, but I don't know how that if that would get us into Vault City probably would anyway uh, so how would you get one of those well I'm certain ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Yes. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> they wouldn't give you a part even if it means the groundwater wouldn't be polluted anymore. Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> not much chance of that happening. <laughs> yes. If someone could convince them... They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. What else could tell? We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. Well, if you don't get it. <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. Yeah, that's what they sent me to do. Uh, so what are we going to do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. Yeah. Um. Right, so. We asked about something else. What you need, youngster? Where, where's the um, fuel bit? Is that a tree growing out of your head? Jealous? His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. <laughs> what you need, youngster? All right. So what do you do? <laughs> going apart. Well, sorta. I mean, yeah, we got to go all through this again. We need a hydroelectric. Fuel. We get our fuel from the Broken Hills. That's a mining community some way south. Hello, Stellan. Good to see you, sir. How are you doing? What you need, youngster? All right, do you know anything about a geck? Garden of Eden creation kit? A geck, right? Uh, I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. What you need, youngster? That's about it. A place to buy and resupply. Well, you might try talking a wooze over in the harp. You can't miss it. It's just across the way. <laughs> yeah, I've already spoken to him. It's not very nice. Maybe he'll... Uh... Not to me now that I've spoken to Harold. Yeah, I missed him. Maybe it isn't this dude. I am Wooz. What do you want? Okay. Uh... Have you ever heard of a Gek? Garden of Eden Creation Kit? You mean the device included with every vault that's supposed to be used when the people leave the vault in order to reestablish civilization? Uh, no, I meant the other one. <laughs> uh, where can I find one? It's told that every vault has one. Does it look like does it look like a vault to you? You dumb. Why are you looking for a Gek here? Try a vault. Why isn't there his vault? There's Vault G, I don't know. Maybe you could ask the people of Vault City where a vault might be. Vault City's so self of here. You, you are dumb, aren't you? Uh, testing you. So, I want to trade. Play Tragic. Ooh, let's trade first. Trade. Always ready to trade Tragic cards. I've got a couple of old Vox boobies, a Black Dahlia, and some Rare Earths. Okay. Yes, I'd like to trade. Yeah, you just got that. I don't know if, if it'll do me any good to get this. I mean, it might. I mean. An expensive hobby if you get hooked. Well, yes. Yeah, I thought I thought he was. Yes. That's awesome. I didn't want to say that, you know, but um, 
Yes, um, there is a, a, a tree. Oh, that's three, isn't there? That's really cool. Damn it, wrong button. I like that, though. I like that. Eh. Is there anything else here? I think we've got what we need, but let's, um... Survival gear. That could be useful. Hello there, Percy Crump here, master merchant in this locality. But you can, can you tell me to play old Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everyone does. Now, what can I do for you? All right, let's just see what he's got. Okay, that looks good. Right, you've got a rope. You've got a lot of gold. Okay, gold. <laughs> um, you know what I mean. Now I think I've done all my. Battering, so I don't need to do anything from this guy, but it's nice that he's there. How much is that, by the way? Right there. Okay. Gold pieces. Well, it is, isn't it, really? Dollars, gold. What's going on here in town? Not a whole lot new here in town. I hear woos some newbie in the Black Orchard the other day. Any house other than that, my friend Woody's gone missing. Oh, no more about friend Woody. I'm sure it is, Sel, but there's no way I could tame it. And it uses its own ammo as well, it looks like, so. Yeah, I, I, I did get that feeling. I hadn't seen those before. I know it's early, early days, but still. Uh, well, you see, I had a friend, and Woody, that Woody, he can sleep like nobody I ever did see. What's worth, he likes to travel. He likes to kick up the dust, that one does. That ain't so much of a problem around here, that is. But, last I heard, Woody... I was going to take a stroll over to the den. You know what the den is? Yes, I know what the den is. Anyhow, like I've been saying, that ain't so much of a problem around Gecko, but you see people in other parts ain't used to the way we look. Ain't you put two and two together? I'm worried that Woody might have taken himself a nap in the den, the long, after all, and then they would have buried the poor cuss alive. I need someone to look there. Look for him there. Well, I miss him, that's why. Oh, I see. Do I know what's in it for you? This is usually the part where I get more interested. Well, I know where I can get a hold of a heck of a lot of pre-war stock of genuine Radex and Radaway. Don't do me no good now, um, no how. But figure that ought to be worse. Yeah, okay, that could be quite good for me. Uh, how much is a heck of a lot? That's like more than you ever need. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, that's a good. He's probably in one of the graves. We did dig up all the graves, though, didn't we? But probably in there somewhere. It's okay, it's not a big thing. Have a little look, I guess. This? Could be that, couldn't it? Hello, what's up? What's up? I'm always nice. 
I am always nice. I am a nice guy. Get in there. How do you get in there? Back. Oh, this looks uh, like it can be robbed. <laughs> um, so let's. Picks. Yeah, I'm the one that's rubbing everything. You gotta, you gotta figure that you know that if they're, uh, they haven't read it by now, they probably won't want to read it again. So I'm just gonna take that book. Hi, right. Skeeter. I put all sorts of, sort of put things together. You have a boat that I can use to fix a car. Funny you should ask that. See, cars use replaceable fuel cells or batteries for fuel. Usually broke down with a full cell controller. Oh, I still. Um, most amateur mechanics just assume that it's the battery itself. You know what assuming things does, don't you? Does that mean you have one? Assuming. Go on then. What does it mean? Well. Assuming something makes an ass out of you and me. Get it? Still the good one, ain't it? <laughs> Hi, Bonds Kusha. Uh, have you got one? Yep, sure do. Got it right here. Just waiting for a car to be put into. You got a car? I know where one is. What's it going to cost me to get one? Well, money's nice, but I need something else right now. Something I can't get myself. What do you need? These days, good tools is... Oh, it's harder to get than parts is. I need, uh, I need myself a brand new super tool kit. Snap something. Ram's best. Okay. Where can I get that? I reckon the best place to go would be that down in Vault City. They've got all kinds of tools, but they sure as heck wouldn't give them to a ghoul, no how. You want me to bring you a super tool kit, and you'll give me the car part? Exactly. That's the deal. One super tool kit for one fuel cell controller. Sounds like a good idea. What, what, what else you got? Alright, what about it with me? Okay, that's fine. Have you heard of a Garden of Greed and Creation kit? For a geck, huh? Well, I don't really know where you might find one of them dire things. I think that Vault City probably used to have themselves one. Of course they had one, yeah, I know that. Well, let's ask it anyway. They sure did. That's how come they're so damn well off. It sure ain't because they know what to do. It's because the Gek done start in their crops. Got their town running the way uh, when they came to the vault. Who would have an unused one? Well, let me see here. As I recollect, most vaults were supposed to have themselves a Gek. You might try looking for other vaults somewheres. Thanks. Things you might want to take a look at. Hmm. Okay, so you can upgrade stuff. So this pistol. There's an eagle. Wow, okay. So he can Yeah, it's a little bit out of my price range, but this but he can um upgrade things. Another weapon in mind, for example. Long arm. 3,000 for an expanded magazine on the... Okay. Um, later. <laughs> Good to know, though. All these guys are nice, aren't they? Or if you'll mind me just nipping in. Yeah. I just wonder if I'm just gonna... Just casually uh, just, just pop into here. Looks like I'm going to have to go back to the Vault City anyway. 
to um, do the main quest. Unless I just want to like shoot it down, you know, be evil basically. Okay, see what he's got. I am of course going to rob him. Don't worry, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, because I did, I tried this one. Why not? I can sell it to this dude. And that. Bit naughty, but... Also a container. Oh, a tool board. Oh, ah, oh, damn it! You got my hopes up there, dude. You got my hopes up. Gellian, filthy tease. Because <laughs> I know that they need hammer and tongs or something. Like a vault city, L O B G. Finally got back from Christmas shopping. Hopefully, you got everything you needed. Good to know for future reference, though. Okay. Maybe they did. I don't mind that they did. But here's the old vault. I date. I'll need a rope to get down it. Name's Gordon. God, Gordon of Gecko. I'm Damon. What do you do here? I look for opportunities. Like what? If ways of maximizing my potential worth. Sounds like greed to me. I am greedy, but most people misunderstand greed. Greed is a powerful driving force. Throughout history, mankind's greatest achievements were driven by men who wanted to better their positions. Driven by greed, for lack of a better word. Good. You know, I, I, I've said this in the past, you know, that, that you know, that the need to for, for more and better is sort of, you know, what sets us aside from, um, from animals, basically, because animals are quite, quite happy, you know, lying in the sun with a full belly, and an animal is happy, no matter what it is. Um, we always want more. Humans are kind of greedy in that way. They always want more than what they need. So, yeah, I don't think he's wrong. But yes, I mean, he's right, but he's not right. Anyway. Um, but what does greed have to do with Gecko? So far, not much, but in greed lies Gecko's salvation. I have important information about the survival of Gecko, but I can't get anyone to listen to me. What kind of information? Well, I've calculated that if our reactor was running properly, we could generate an enormous amount, uh, uh, an enormous amount of excess power, far more than Gecko needs. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sell him. Um, also found out from a very reliable source that Vault City cannot expand without additional power. Right, so they, so they can't expand and you might have additional power if something happens. Vault City, you see, has enough power for their current needs as long as they're careful, but the vault power plant that they use was never designed for the increased load their city is putting on it. That makes sense. It's a peak capacity right now. With more power, they can't expand. I don't see how that helps you. Well, if our power plant's working better, we could trade our excess power and technical expertise to Vault City in exchange for medical technology. Without a, uh, more power, Vault City will burn out their reactor within 15 years. If Gecko's reactor isn't repaired, we won't last half that time. Without medical technology, all of those ghouls are going to be die off within the next 20 years anyway. Everyone loses if Vault City and Gecko don't cooperate. So you're just a good Samaritan, huh? Not at all. I've got my end covered. It would be the natural choice to administer this project. Greed is my driving force, but thousands of lives are saved by it. Greed is good. At least 
would be if I can get anyone in Vault City to read my economic data. I bet Councilman Nakua in Vault City would love to get his hands on that data. He seems like someone who is ruled by reason rather than prejudice. Well, I have all the relevant economic data on a disk. You may have it if you promise to show the data to someone in Vault City that can understand and make use of the data it contains. Be discreet with it. Not everyone there will be happy you talk to us ghouls. I don't think I want to be stuck with your disk. No, no. I'll take the disk. Okay. The plot has thickened. I don't think we can get down here. Fine. You think it would be, wouldn't you? I think it would be. But it's not showing up. Oh, hello. Get out the way. Get out. Oh, I shall. Okay. Well, there. Ever noticed that each Brahmin gets its own personality? Well, if you watch them as long as I have, you sure notice. You do here. I guard the Brahmin. I help Skeeter in his workshop. Skeeter, well I know that anyway, but Skeeter is a sort of mechanic. I take apart almost anything that you bring him, gets most of them back together too sooner or later. Sometimes things end up working better than they before. Let's do something else. Like, what's with all that junk in the yard? Well, some of it's junk left over from when they were building the reactor before the war. The rest of the stuff, I just don't know. Skeeter collects all, all kinds of stuff. Question, what do we do here? It's kind of Unusual going on? Well, I mostly just stick to my business, but sometimes I think I hear things late at night. Like what? Me too, but I figure they're voices. I have been hearing voices actually, but another thing in our, you know, as, as we got that um, cutscene. Well, I'm not sure, mind you, but I think I've heard people, at least I thought it was people, coming and going from the reactor pit late at night. Every night? Well, I just don't know if they're people or what, but usually it's just every couple of nights. Noises coming and going from the reactor pit. I don't know what's going on, I don't want to know. No telling what might be down there. Interesting. Hello, shelf unit. Oh god. How are you doing, sir? Shame we couldn't get shelf unit and paperclip in the same chat together. We could have the guys with the most mundane names at the same time. It's drunk. Drunk. No doubt about it. Yes. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of stuff. I could put a rope on there. That was like an old vault suit. 
Okay, so back to Vault City for now. Playing this <laughs> shelf. And we're back to the den. Oh, God damn it. Glad you won. Are you a bit of a diva at darts then? Okay, we've got a couple things to do here. First one is possibly to go into the community's office or the maintenance center. Maybe you've got something for me. Tools. Right, yeah, so it's, um, can't get them here. Gotta go here. And I just shut it again. So she needs a wrench and some pliers. Maybe I've got to become a citizen first, but I won't become a citizen before I solve this um, issue. But I won't solve the issue without the two. Well, no, 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 that's not true. This isn't to do with the um, main quest, so I might come back to that one. Right, I'm pretty sure the person we need to speak to is up here. He does seem pretty feisty, Steve. Sure you can handle her. I'm almost certain it's this dude. That's him. Okay, just a minute. Questions. All right, so I think you might have a part that could fix the gecko power plant. It's that yeah, an acceptable solution? Okay, but I'm worried that she will, yeah, withhold my citizenship if I fix the plant because she wants rid of the ghouls. Fix the plant, I'll give you citizenship. Okay, so where do I get the part? Go and see Randall. Okay, and you might find this disc interesting. Um, let's take a look. Uh, shows the amount of energy that Gecko's uh, or the war could produce again. Okay, we'll do that one. I, wa I didn't want to mention the ghouls. Too, so what does this have to do with me? I understand that the Vault City's generator can only support so many people. In fact, it's already nearing its limits. I'm not going to ask how you come by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? Once the Gecko Power Plant is fixed, the disk indicates it's possible it could produce enough energy for Vault City 2. It looks like the reactor would need to optimize first, though. Are you suggesting that we seize Gecko and take their power plant? I will not listen. No, no, no. Gecko could re could receive the optimization data for their plant. I am betting they would be willing to trade their excess power for medical assistance. As for a medical assistance goes, I am not 
unsympathetic to the plight of the ghouls, they have certainly suffered enough. But how could we optimize their plant? I don't know. Maybe there is something I can, someone I can talk to once the plant is repaired. No objections to you, to your proposal. If you can find some means of optimizing the plant, let me know. Okay, I get the plant from Randall first, and then we'll see. Oh, we got some experience points. <clears throat> Keep the economic disc and study it some more. Perhaps I can persuade the council to enter negotiations with Gecko and trade for their power. The disc would be a strong argument in and in of itself. Thank you. Okay, that went well. Seven fifty. Just makes sense. I like this storyline. I really do. And I like how it's kind of playing out as well. Um, I uh, there you go. A hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator. Yeah, he said you uh, you stop by, Damon. Right? Wait one minute, and I have the the uh, thingy. Right. Okay, so here you go. One. <laughs> Hey, Mag, looks kind of like a lava lamp, doesn't it? Oh, don't drop it. It's pretty fragile. Okay. I stare at this for a few hours before taking it to the gecko plant. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. Oh, there it is. Oh, um, we got it. Looks like a lava lamp. Um, no, it doesn't. But there are um, there are those sort of like um, glass balls, aren't there, with the electric thing in them, and you can touch them, and the electric goes to the side of the, you know, and it, it's kind of cool. It looks like that. So it's not a lava lamp, but I it looks like one of those things. Um, but I don't know what those things are. Okay, so that's that one. And there was the car thing, and there was the thing at, uh, at back at the vault. This little, yeah, well, that works. That's fine. Um, why not look for those super tools? Well, I thought, I thought, I kind of assumed. That once I was a citizenship, I could get a uh, citizen. I could get them. Cause I don't know. You mean look for them as in steal them, yeah? Cause when I go into what do you have in stock, he talks about citizenships. So that's why I thought that might be. Um... It was pointing me. I don't know if that's true or not, but that looks where like what it what it's sort of like pointing towards. Okay, I'll ignore you. <laughs> On your own uh by your own wishes. Okay. Well you might be right, I don't know, but that's what I'm kind of thinking by that conversation. I could go in and try and steal them, but I, I, it looks like there's a different way. Okay, so. I guess we go back to Gecko now.
Yeah, that's uh, that, that, that's cool, Steve. So I mean, yeah, if if I'm asking things, or I'm gonna do something really wrong, then feel free to uh, give me a poke. But otherwise, I don't know who I need to talk to. Are you? I can't remember where they are. Were they, were, I really should make a note of these things. Up there. Up there. I think you can teach yourself to be not crap at anything. It's amazing what the uh, human mind will do. I wonder this dude again. How it can learn and adapt. Delivering that date of, uh, to the Vault City was only one of the many steps you need to take. Our atomic power plant is still barely operational and needs to be fixed. Yeah, I'll get on that. I'm looking for the dude who can do that. There's two of them in the room. It must, it must have been down here. I must have. Uh... Most people have only played Dart Strunk. Yes, that's true. Yeah, manager's office is the one. What you need, youngster? Well, I got that part you need to fix your reactor. I'm going to go and try and get it installed in the reactor. I'll report back when I'm done. Okay. Well, how to get to the reactor would be a, a great hint right now. <laughs> oh, what? For this bit? Oh, is there another area? There's also something in this map. Something. Ah. Are we talking like an object or an NPC cell? Like, if it's something you want me to find, you might as well just tell me. Because... Or at least, like, give me a clue. The entrance. You? Not you, and I don't want to steal from you. Ah, I need to use this a bit more, don't I? The, um, I remember which uh, button it is. You go to Vault 13, don't... First. A new species of creature... Ah, Sterling, thank you. Dungeon. You haven't entered every building. So I'm looking to go into a building. Oops. Like this one? Yeah. Hello, Hugh. How you doing?
Close the door. Having a sneezing fit. Okay. And then, other than that. Okay. <laughs> okay. And to get our plant, you see someone, yeah, okay. Welcome to the Atomic Power Plant. Just a warning to you, if anything goes wrong while you're inside, we're going to blame you, Smooth Skin. Looking for something, I wonder if you can direct me. I, uh... Well, what did you want help finding? The reactor control room, the supply room, the robot control room, or the reactor pit? Um... Uh... Well, the reactor control room, I guess. Red control room is through the door to the right of the one you entered the building through. Then through the door at the end, past the yellow security door. Then off to the right, you need a key card. How do I get a key card? I think Jeremy has the key. The guards at the security doors have keys, as do some of the people that live here in the reactor. I see something else. Um, thought I saw people living here. Is it safe? Well, we tend to like the background radi radiation leakage here. The glowing ones really like it. None of us would feel very well without it. Background leakage? <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry unless you plan to stay here for more than a couple of weeks. Most of the radiation that the re reactor leaks goes into the coolant water and we pump it back underground. Little bit that leaks above ground just feels good to us somehow. Okay, that's good to know then. Um, let's do something else then. Supply room. And Jeremy again, okay. Thanks for that. Uh, Jeremy. Pulling ones. Ah, yes, there it is. <laughs> well, now I know where you're from, Steve. Okay, back in Gecko. Let's just go everywhere. It's got to be in the UK. Use the word chavs. Very clogged. Very clogged table. No. Everything is broken. Okay, good to know. My name is Jeremy. I'm in charge of the all-powerful supply cabinet here. I'll keep track of all 
our star supplies. All powerful. Okay, maybe not all powerful, but it's pretty damn important. What do you want? Need something from storage, apparently. Well, if you want something from storage, you need a request authorization form. Do you have a request authorization form? No. You need to get one from either Harold, or you can get one from Festus right here in the main reactor control room. I don't care who you get it from as long as you get it. No request authorization, no parts. Okay. Well, he's not much good, is he? There's the control, that's the supply room, obviously. Hello. It's all the supply room. Supply room, that's what it says. In order that. Hello. Okay. I'm looking for a yellow key card. Apparently Jeremy has and the car and, and the ghouls have, but I need to get past this in order to get into this myriad of places to basically get here, I think. That's where I need to be. Okay, no entry. Oh to Harold. Okay, I gotta go back to freaking Harold. Okay, I'll go back to Harold. What you need, youngster? Um, yeah, I know that's what I thought, but um, see if I mention it. it ends the conversation. What you need, youngster? <laughs> Yep, but I'm doing great for being dead. <laughs> hmm. I never get tired of the looks when I tell that one. <laughs> what you need, youngster? So, I don't get it. If we could turn the um, attention of the chat away from Steve for a second, <clears throat> I'm um, a little bit stuck. Because it says I need to get a key from Harold, but I can't get a key from Harold. Can't buy it of him, not that I should be able to do anyway. It's on Harold's desk. It's on Harold's desk. I think.
See, I'll look around. Oh. That was a bit weird. It's, a, it's as if they sort of put that in after they've done the dialogue for that dude. Right, now I've got a part bomb, so I wonder what I can get from this dude. But yeah, that just seems like it's a bit tagged on. Like, oh god, well, we've already done his voiceover, so uh, we'll just put it in a container. Need something from storage. Um, well, uh, you're not a friend of Skeeter's, are you? He's always trying to get me to give him valuable supplies. He just pulls the stuff apart and breaks it. Wouldn't trust him to fix a toaster. Skitter who? I just need to bring this pad over to uh, the reactor control room to fix the... Hey, look, is that a rat over there? Um, don't know what they're going to do with the thing. I'm just picking it up. Let's do that one. So I've got a form. What do I need? I need moss covered three handed Gred Unza. But I don't know what I'm getting then, do I? I thought this might work where I get the super tool from, but obviously it isn't. I think I'll get it later then, because obviously I've done this a little bit out of order and I don't actually need whatever that is. So I'll go back over here. I've got a freaking key card now. I got one. So we're cool. Oh, hang on. It's one of those things where I need to do this, isn't it? That's it. Now I've got two of them. Okay. Um. Uh, how do I do? I'm gonna put it here. Oh come on! What do I do? I've got a freaking key card. Key card. Yep's. The, 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 the difficult bit should be getting keycard, not using it. Need the yellow keycard to get by. Well, I have one. Oh, well, no. Click on the guards, and they say I need a keycard. Click on the door. It's locked, and I can't use the keycard. On either the door or the guards. So that's good. I see what you're doing. Yeah, okay. Like this, isn't it? Is that we're going to do it again? That does nothing. Maybe I have to do it to the guard then. That does nothing. What? Now I ended up with two. Oh, is there? Oh, well, that's handy. Well, they do stack, though. Well, they stack, so how am I... <laughs> so they must be the same thing, because they stack. 
Alright, so. I'll drop the other one down here. I'll drop this one there. I'll try that one. And that does nothing. I'll try it on the guard just in case. So, I will then, I'm just going to try this, I'm just going to try it for completeness' sake and then we all know everything's done so we can move on from it. I'll drop that one. I'll pick up this one. Do the same thing. There's nothing. And that was nothing. Okay, so. Did I install the resurrection? I don't think I did. I don't think I... I patched it. I installed like a user patch. I, put I did that as well! Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. All right. I have, I have got like uh, the, the latest patch thing. I didn't install any restored content, but I did install the latest patch that was user made. Yellow reactor keycard. I have tro I've dropped the Vanguard. <laughs> I've dropped them. There's the yellow rat to keycard. Okay, hang on, wait, 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 wait. That is a the both yellow rat to keycards. Because my ceiling's pretty good. I mean, it's 14%. This might take a while. <clears throat> um, so it's uh, three. Um <laughs> Right, how do I use it? How do I use it? What should I do? Before I mess about with it, what is the way to do it? Use on the door. So put it into here. Hello, deadbeat. I just want to make sure I get it right, you see. Like this? I'll put it onto there. Okay. You unlock the door. Okay, let's pick up these as well, because I'll obviously need these for later. Yeah, because now if I do this, I've got two of them and one of these. Yeah. So that's... Security key, and that was the uh, reactor key, pass key. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. Um, that was needlessly stressful, I'd say. Anyway. We're in. 
Hello, Naramir. Yes, you're uh, visiting people, aren't you? Can't read any text, but you are here. <laughs> That's very good of you. That's true, yes, because we are. We do have to stop this in a little bit and start RimWorld. Not supposed to be like that. <laughs> no, I, I figured. Um, still, we got there in the end. By elite ste stealing um, skills. <laughs> Hi, future Mr. Narame. Okay. My alpha security cameras. Oh, I can't be good. Set the console to get it working again. Brings you to the part of my atomic reactor. I have a part that you can use to fix the reactor. You have a spare hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator. Uh, you actually know what that is. Surprised? I told you that I know all about our atomic power plants. You should listen to me. I've ever spoken to you before, but anyway. Well, uh, since you know what it is, you must know how to install it. Of course I do. Wow, that's just plain simple for someone of my experience and talent. I was weaned on <laughs> Metasphere regular is a pop, you know. That's great. Can you install it for me? I guess I could install it, but, you know, installing a hydroelectric met thingy is pretty tricky and it's dangerous. Not that I'm afraid for myself, uh, but who could run the power plant if someone were to happen to me? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, I should have known you, ch you chicken out. Goodbye. Right then. Okay then. No key, no entry. Which which key? This one? It's like a red key card bit though. What sort of key? Red key oh. Ask Carl for a red key card if we want to get in there. I'm trying to help you people. Why is it so difficult? Why is... Why? Why? Why this? Why? I don't understand any of it. I understand it, but I don't know... I don't know why... Why? Why? Bother with the key cards. I suppose it's to lock you out if you don't have it, but just lock you out. And then if you have the item, let you in. Why bother with the key cards? Why? Well, yeah, because you that, that kind of makes sense. Maybe in here then? Nope. It was in a bookcase somewhere. Be there. Yeah, I've, I've got a stupid key card. There it is. Okay. Save the game as Gecko. Ha <laughs> deadbeat. Hello, by the way. Nice part you got there. Just what we need. Glad you like it. Want to install it? I'd like to help you out, but I wouldn't know how to install something like that. I mostly just watch the gauges here. Try Festus. He's the resident past genius. Just ask him. Where is Festus? Festus is out the way you came in in the control room. Can't miss him. He's the smelly, whiny one tottering around underneath that huge ego. You'll be able to help. I think that's the guy we just saw before, isn't it? Isn't it him? Isn't this him? 
wouldn't tell me his name. You have the wrong part anyway. There, that's it. I reckon that was him. Yeah, okay. So he won't install it. You won't install it. Log off. <laughs> Maybe I'll do function. <laughs> Demo is designed to coordinate and command a uh, reactor maintenance and repair robot. I can find out about that. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not, okay? 40% is not a high speed skill. Thank you for that, Stellin. I appreciate that. But you'd say the same about stealing as well, wouldn't you? And look what happened there. High skills overrated. Pure luck. That's what gets you through. Indeed. Well, if 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 in this case you need, I mean, I do have the dude who's good at repairing with me. Let's not forget that. I speak to the robot. Whoa! Oh, we're in a nuclear reactor. Of course we're dying. <laughs> oh, what does this button do? <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe I shouldn't have come in here, you know? <laughs> right, I'm rushing about and not really paying much attention, so I'm going to stop it here. Uh, we are out of time anyway. I would have liked to draw a conclusion to that, um, but it's a bit convoluted and a bit annoying, so I'll leave it for this week. Um, yes, I know, I know, that's why I'm stopping. Um, and I'll have to uh, resume this. I'll resume it next time, I'm not going to save it. I'm not going to save it. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. We'll end it there. Um, next time. Well, which which one I'm going to... I'm going to load a game. Yeah, Gecko. We're just going to load that one before I go in. And um, might mess about with this. But I have crappy computers. Crappy speech. So all, all my... All these are rubbish. Basically. All these are absolute rubbish. So I can't do anything. I am... Um, which is my own fault, really, but... Um, what's you gonna do? Um, this is probably the way that you end the game... Well, end the game. End the quest if you want. I just want to blow the whole place up. And then help that lady. I reckon the, the big red wheel. <laughs> yes, Cassie would have solved this easily. Probably about blowing everything up. But yeah, we'll leave this for now, and I'll come back to it next week. Yes, I know, that's what I, I know. I said about that. But I, d I don't know where it is, Shadowhawk, um, and we're over time. So, I'm going to have to cut there. So I'm going to save this as Enter Sesh. And next time, we will mess with the nuclear reactor and uh, see what happens. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that's the plan. That's the plan, and I'll I'll approach a bit more calmly because the whole Keith Keycard thing kind of set me off. It got me on edge. That did. That was a little bit, a little bit annoying, a little bit frustrating. Um, I was enjoying it until about twenty minutes ago. I don't know how that happened. So, sorry, right, Shadow. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Alright, so um, that is it for this week's Fallout 2. If you watched it on the V-Streams, thank you very much for watching. And toodling. <laughs>